Fish Fry Fridays, Red Snapper, let's get it. Okay, so look, gave you a little preview of me, you know, just going ahead and scaling. And then, you know, I cut the head off, make sure all the scales is off like that, right? Real simple. And if you take a look over here, look, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? We got flour, we gonna season that. Got a little garlic, you know, garlic powder, salt. You know what I mean? Of course, I'm using my all purpose. And then we got black pepper, right? So now I want you guys to come on over here and take a look at this. Look, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just take this and I'm getting ready to score it, right? We don't wanna cut it all the way down, we just wanna open this up because we wanna get a little bit of flavor in there, right? All right, so then once you score it this way, you just wanna score it the other way. So again, if you guys pay attention, you know what I mean? If you just really look at this, you'll figure out what I'm doing is, I'm getting it so that the flavor will reach down inside the meat, right? All right, so now we're gonna use a little egg wash, right? Because what I wanna do is brush this on there. Listen, it acts as a binder, because we're gonna use some floured and, you know, some seasoned flour, right? So let me go ahead and scramble this. Now we just wanna get some. This part right here is pretty much self-explanatory, right? You just wanna brush it and get it all in between. You know why? Because we finna season and we coming with the seasoned flour. All right, then you just want to flip it over, and we're going to do the same thing. It's okay if you lose a little bit of it. It's really about just making sure you got enough binder on there so that when you put that seasoning in there, it stays in there. And we want it to adhere into the meat, right? So I just open it up. Just work with it like this. All right, so now, look, I'm going to take a little bit of the garlic powder, right? And I just come over the top like this. Put my hand under here because I want to open it up, get a little bit inside of the, you know, where I scored it. Some of y'all might be looking at it and say that might be a little bit more than a score, but this is cool like this, right? All right, and then I come with just a little bit of my all-purpose, you know, on here like this, and I got it. We ain't done yet, All right? But I just want to get some of this on here because this is inside of my flour also. This is what gives it the taste, but we want it to get inside there. That way when we eat this, we want it to be good, folks. Okay, so look, I've got my oil. Listen, I'm bringing my oil up to temp, right? So now it's time for me to get my, you know, my flour going. You know what I mean? So we always say you want to season your flour. This is what ensures it, right? I want you guys to take a look. And just in case you didn't see this right here, look, this is my original all-purpose seasoning, right? This right here is the OG. Listen, it's got a little bit of a different taste. I didn't go as traditional, but when I say all-purpose, that's what I mean, all-purpose. You see how I can see it right there? I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna put some uh, pepper in here. You know what I mean? Uh, Cause I just want it to be good. And you know what? It's got to be good anyway, cause what we call this? Fish Fry Friday. Then listen, all of my products are low in sodium, so we want to wake it up just a little bit with just a couple of gener generous pinches of salt. And that right there will do it. And then the main thing is we want to taste it after we, you know, after we season it. And I got it, folks. Some of y'all are thinking right now, like, what, do you, what does he mean, taste it? You got to taste your flour, though, just to find out. Did it, is it just to your liking? Because if it tastes good there, you know it's going to be good on your fish. Okay, so while I was bringing my oil up to temp, and just in case I hadn't said it already, listen, we want to do 375 degrees, right? Now, look, I got this seasoned right, right? I tasted it, it tastes like it's seasoned flour, so I know we're gonna have fire right there, right? Now, don't forget, we had to have some time for our seasoning to, you know, soak into the flesh, you know, of our snapper, right? So look, I'm gonna do it this way first, just so you guys can see it, because you know why? I want to get a little bit in the inside too, right? And we can do it two ways. You can do it this way, right? Or you can just drop it in there. But I like to do it this way because I like to get inside the little scores, you know? We want it to be nice and crispy, you know? And then I'm gonna just drop it on there. Then I'm gonna shake off the excess. Real simple, folks, you know? A little bit messy. You see, I got a pair of gloves on, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's okay. See, when you put it inside, like, see, I'm using this casserole dish, when I just, Drop it in there, it don't really get up in there like I like it to get. But 
this right here. We season the fish, we inside the scores, and you know, and we season the flour. Come on, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, really, no reason for me to do nothing else, really. This is the part you guys all been waiting for. Look, I just shake it, get anything I can off of there, right? Grab him like this, and I add him just like this. So once we reach our desired, you know, temperature, right? Take this and just go ahead and put it on a sheet. Now you guys, if you want to, you can cut the tail off. I'll leave the tail on there, which I should have said earlier. It just makes it easier for me to hold it when I'm first putting it in the inside, you know, the grease. All right, so look, just let me go ahead and uh, cut down my garnish, you know, get it to look all pretty, take a picture, and then we finna go ahead and get a taste test. Okay, folks, look, you've seen it. Listen, it's just Fish Fry Friday. You know what I mean? I uh, just chose to do the red snapper for today, right? I don't want to over talk it or nothing like that. Look, now I just want to go in here and just get me a piece of this, you know, flaky meat. You know what I mean? If you guys come here and take a look, look at this right here. Whew, my goodness. Look at that right there. I can squeeze this. You can just see it just becomes, oh my. Hey, you know what? I'm not finna talk, over talk it, talk about it or nothing like that. Guess what? It's seasoned properly. Cheers. This is right, right here. I don't know what to say, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, if you like fish, you like snapper, listen, after you season it, season it the way you like to do it, I promise you it's gonna come up right, right? So listen, I'm gonna try to do a different fish, you know, on the Fridays, you know what I mean? Of course, I'm one with the catfish. Now, hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm out as always.